DNA will be the latest tool in the city's arsenal to nab deadbeats who don't pick up their dog's due. It's um, very similar to a fingerprint data bank. What you do is you take a piece of canine fecal matter and examine it. The computers then generate a uh, what's called a DNA chart that um, very clearly shows which dog left the poop on the, on the pavement. Dog owners will be required to bring a stool sample with them when they apply for their annual license. Pues yo he oído que quieren sacar la caca de mi perro. Quieren mandar para testes la caca de mi perro. Y yo, la verdad es que yo pienso que no eso está muy bien. Y la verdad es que si mi perro es tan pequeño, puede ser que paguen más para un pe perro más grande. Yo no tengo idea. Yo solo lo que sé es que no me gusta. No me gusta. I don't like it. Well, I think it's a great idea because, I mean, who hasn't stepped in some doggy doo-doo and dragged into the house, the car, and spent the whole afternoon cleaning everything up? One genetics expert questioned the plan. Quite frankly, this whole scheme stinks to high heaven. It is possible many dry food mixtures can trigger an intense intestinal reaction, something we call the Red Rover effect, that would lead to false positives which put the finger at the wrong dog. With an accuracy rating of 15 million to 1, city officials are warning, you better scoop or you're pooped. For Sun Media, I'm Dave Dormer.